Hey Boomer here, I'm Princess. Hi. We uh, found another show to go to. It's called the Freedom Fest in Akron, Michigan. And it's about an hour and a half away. So we hopped on the bike and we're headed up there. Uh, we wanted to stop at uh, Bob Evans and get the whole hog again, but there was like a 25 minute wait. I don't wait 25 minutes for a table, especially when there's other options close by. So we ended up at, let's swing around. We were at the Palace Grill, or the Palace Coney. Uh, good place, uh, good breakfast, good food. That is on Saginaw Street in Burton. So if you're ever out that way, uh, ask for Ashley. Oh, I, I, I just told this Grand Blank. It's uh, just south of Burton. Now. But uh, anyway, we're headed up to the Freedom Fest. It's a bike show, uh, different things like that. So we'll check in with you up there. See you soon. Say bye, Princess. Bye. <laughs> We uh, just had to make a stop here, Princess and I, because we're on our way up to Akron, Michigan for that Freedom Fest. And we are just typical Michigan thumb. And I wanted to swing around and just show you. So don't get dizzy, hang on, here we go. Swinging around. This is Michigan thumb. I'm gonna try and zoom. Windmills as far as the eye can see. And back in we go. Come on, back in, there we go. Coming over here, farmland, more windmills way off in the distance. Farmhouse, more windmills. If you look this way, I'll zoom in again. More windmills, keep going. More windmills, windmills and farmland. And that, my friends, is the thumb of Michigan. So it's been a beautiful ride, it's a beautiful day. So we're looking for a good day up at the Freedom Fest. It's a bike show, ride and bike show. We'll see what we have there. I'll do some video there as well. We'll take a walk as I do at the bike show. And uh, they swing around. The Princess Mobile is doing just fine. Just did an oil change on her. Uh, check the air pressure, tires, uh, check the coolant. Uh, not long ago, Princess and I uh, bled the brakes and the clutch. And uh, you know, for a 37, 38 year old bike, she's doing well. So anyway, I just wanted to stop here for a second and just show you the thumb area of Michigan. We're at a milling company parking lot. Uh, it is a uh, Star of the West Milling and they're closed today so I pulled into the parking lot. I had to because it's so beautiful out here and I just wanted to show you. Uh, tell you what, that is a lot taller than it probably looks in the video up there. I don't know how tall that is. That's probably a 15-story building maybe I'm guessing. 18 stories up. That's up there. Anyway, alright. I'm gonna get going here, Princess and I. I don't want someone from the milling company to come and wonder what we're doing here, trying to steal their trade secrets or not. But uh I did want to stop here because this is beautiful. It's beautiful riding, open country, nice roads, not a whole lot of traffic. So here we are, Old Glory flying back there. There's Old Glory. Sorry it's shaky, but I'm zoomed. All right, there we are, folks. Say bye, Princess. Bye. Where's, wait a minute, where's Princess? There she is. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon. See you at the show. We're about 10 minutes away. Hey, guys. Uh, Princess and I are here in Akron. And uh, not sure what kind of a bike show it is. Um, there is a booth, a table that's registration. And there's like this little skull that has a number on it that I guess you put on your bike. But I haven't seen that on any of the bikes here. 
there certainly aren't any classes like vintage or antique or custom or anything like that it basically looks like just a harley ride in and there's a bar up at the end that a lot of guys are hanging out at and uh, there's some vendors up at the uh, other end on the other you know, right across from the bar but uh, we're here so i'm going to swing around and we'll take a walk and we'll let you see the bikes there are a couple of pretty neat ones here so let's take a walk don't get dizzy i'm gonna swing around Okay guys, so there it is pretty much, um, only saw just a couple of bikes that were registered for the bike show, what it seems to me, I've seen a lot of bikes coming and going, um, just like a ride-in, like I said, predominantly Harley, there are a few others, and that's fine, nothing wrong with that, 
but i really was expecting a bike show because that's what it was advertised as even though they have a couple of bikes registered up there but you know it's a biker event and you know that's good that it's so well attended pretty bikes here there are some pretty bikes here for sure i'm going to swing around one last view So the bike show wasn't really what I thought it would be, uh, which is fine. I mean, there were a few bikes there, uh, not quite what it was advertised as. Uh, so we were kind of up in the thumb and decided, you know what, another 40 minutes west and northwest, and we can uh, take another one off of the bucket list, if you will. So we took a ride, and we are here at the Sanilac Petroglyphs. So we're going to take a walk and uh, take a look at the Petroglyphs, and We'll have some more video from inside. All right, we'll see you shortly. Well, here we are at the entrance to the petroglyphs. I'll let you uh, see the displays here. It says to allow for about two hours to walk through. I don't know that we're going to be here for two hours, but I want to see what I can. All right, and then. Here's the pathway, so off we go, and I'll be back as soon as we find something interesting. So we're walking in to see the petroglyphs and whatever other attractions they have back there, and look what I see, an X. According to Bobo, that would be obvious Sasquatch activity. So inside of this structure here are the petroglyphs, and I'm told that they are the only petroglyphs in the state of Michigan. Unfortunately, none of the guides wanted to be on video. I respect that. So what I did is I took several pictures. And I will share those with you. Petroglyphs come from the Greek words petro meaning rock and glyph meaning carve. They are rock carvings or rock engravings, usually prehistoric in nature and designed to tell a story or convey an idea and can be very simple or very complex. The petroglyphs in Michigan were carved between 300 and 1,000 years ago, most likely by the Michigan Chippewa. These petroglyphs were only discovered in the early 1800s after a massive fire swept through the area revealing the petroglyphs. Archaeologists have speculated that this rock was a destination for vision quests. They also believe that holy men and shaman may have used this rock as a record of their visions and depicted the animals that came to them in their dreams. There are over 100 images in the Sanilac Petroglyphs. The meanings of many of these images are still being debated. It is believed that this spiral carving represents the circle of life, with birth being in the very center and then spiraling outward until its conclusion. A carved basket is left for when the Native Americans visited the petroglyphs they would be able to leave gifts and presents for the spirit world. Sadly, but perhaps predictably, vandals have carved their own images into the sandstone next to these precious images from antiquity. Princess and I even saw places where they had carved their own initials into the sandstone next to the images.